In this video, we will be taking a look at the normal probability distribution and how to use a SAS program to answer questions around the normal probability distribution. So unlike other tasks you've performed in SAS Studio, we're not going to use a built-in task in order to solve this problem. Instead, we will use a pre-written program to answer these questions. Now, the good news is you don't have to write one line of code. You simply have to change a few settings in a program and run it and then use the output to answer your question. So let's take a look at the question we're working with today. The fuel efficiency of an automobile company's hybrid vehicles is normally distributed with a mean efficiency of 58.5 miles per gallon and a standard deviation of 5.5 miles per gallon. Find the probability of the following values. So first of all, how do we know that we're dealing with a normal probability distribution? Well, a really good clue is that the problem states that the fuel efficiencies are normally distributed and we're given an average or mean efficiency and the standard deviation. Those are two really good hints that we're dealing with a normal probability distribution. Okay, so let's go solve this problem. Now again, we're not using a built-in task, so instead we're going to navigate to Server Files and Folders, My Shared File Links, MSLA1, and SAS Progs. Now there are several programs here. We're going to select the Normal Probability Program. Now you'll see on line 13, comments are provided to you that tell you exactly what to change in the program to use it to solve a problem. So here you'll notice we have four different settings for this program. The first is the mean, the second is the standard deviation, the third is a Y value, and the fourth is an optional second Y value. All right, so let's change these settings for our problem. We'll go back to the problem. We notice that our mean efficiency is 58.5 and our standard deviation is 5.5. So first is we change the mean from 25 to 58.5 and our standard deviation to 5.5. All right, so we got most of the setup done. Now let's take a look at the first question. What is the probability that a hybrid vehicle's miles per gallon is greater than 65 MPG? So we go back to the program. And for this one, we just need to use the first Y. So whenever we're looking for greater than or less than a particular value, we just need to deal with the first Y. So we'll change this to 65 and run the program. Now the output you get is quite easy to read. First, the mean, standard deviation, y and y2 values are repeated in the output. Now you have three different readings. The first is the probability that a particular value is less than the y variable you plugged in. The second is the probability that the particular value is greater than the y value you plugged in. And the third is the probability that the values are between y and y2. So for this one, if we go back to our problem, we're looking at the probability that a hybrid vehicle's MPG is greater than 65 MPG. So if we want greater than 65, we just simply look at probability greater than y. And we notice the probability is 0.11864 or 0 0.119 if we're rounding. All right. What is the probability that a hybrid vehicle's MPG is less than 45? So we have to go back to our program, go back to our code, and change this from 65 to 45, and run the program. Now we want less than 45, so we want this reading right here, probability less than y. And in this case, it's 0.007. So that's a very low probability. So we go back to our program and it's 0 0.007. And finally, what is the probability that a vehicle's MPG is between 57 and 60? So now we get to use that Y2 setting. So 57 and 60. So we go back to our program, go back to the code. We set the first one to 57 and the second one to 60. By the way, it really doesn't matter which one you put in Y and which one you put in Y2, the program will figure it out. 
So if we were to put, put 60 in Y and 57 in Y2, the program will still work. So we go ahead and run that. And now we're interested in the probability between Y and Y2. So that's this value right here, and it's 0 0.21494, or approximately 0 0.215 if we're rounding. And there you have it. The normal probability program is really easy to use. You just have to change a few settings and use the appropriate reading in the output. Thanks for watching.